Hey guys, it's Fabio here and Yanni. Today's video, welcome back to our travel channel. We are gonna be reviewing the restaurants in Yangon, Myanmar. Yes, so we are living in Yangon for four days now. We wanna make this video because not many people are familiar with Yangon, so we took the time to find the restaurants and eat there to review for you guys. So now when you come to Yangon, you have an idea where to eat. Okay, so first restaurant is called the, the Kaki Bar. Bar. So we found this restaurant actually. We were just walking in the highway by the river because there's that river market. When you come here, when you do your research, there's a river market. You'll find it's it. Very interesting market. Yes. It's a one. It's probably the most popular here in Yangon. Yeah, and then we were just walking, looking for a place to eat because we're hungry. It's our first day, and. The market was a lot of um, produce good and then eventually the market changed into all technology. I was like, where are we gonna eat? That was very yeah. interesting. So we kept on walking and walking and walking and we saw it. Yeah, we finally got to this very nice restaurant, I must, I must say. It's more of a bar, so the food is also that kind of bar food. Bar, bar food but exactly. they, do have, they do have meals like rice and chicken and all yeah, that and the area is very nice because it's by the colonial houses so you get a view of the colonial housing and at night it lights up and there's a highway and if you come during the sunset it's actually beautiful too there's actually a top patio so you yes. can go upstairs and that's where we ate and it's so beautiful watching sunset from there with all the colonial buildings staff is very friendly and the place is nice yeah so. the staff are very friendly the drinks are good food is good the next restaurant is the linkage restaurant it's called linkage resto art gallery so this is actually a very nice restaurant if you're coming to eat good food and support the locals and support tourism and support a lot of young kids generation because this restaurant is actually run if I'm not mistaken this restaurant is run by volunteers and they train these volunteers in restaurant business and how to do waitering services and after they do the volunteering for at least I think one year they place them in proper jobs across the city so you're not only eating good food you're also helping the community and you're helping the youth so this is all for the young generation yeah and it's so nice it's a welcoming place I must say it's a little bit hidden so it's it harder to find and the stair to go up there it's steep it's steep you might be because we, when we were there they, we saw a couple across the street they would look confused they were looking on their phone we didn't know but we knew what it was we knew where the restaurant was so we just went up the stairs it was kind of sketchy the area was kind of sketchy so don't be scared um, just go up there's a sign up there that says linkage so when you go up just go through the stairs and you will see a door that says open so just go in and the volunteers and the staff will greet you and then once we sat down the couple that we saw across the street we followed us because I think they were confused where to go because yeah. Google Maps says they're there but they didn't see any restaurant because it's on the second floor yeah so it's not very visible but you'll find it and once so you just look up yeah <laughs> and once you go into the restaurant the ambience is so nice and you see paintings on the wall and apparently when you purchase these paintings you are also helping the restaurant and you're helping the community the local artists and everything but we are backpacking so we don't have a place to put this paint these paintings yes but we ordered food it was delicious we ordered food it was delicious definitely nicely done and uh, it was a little bit pricier than other places but all this help goes towards the community and the young generation yes. so that's totally worth it we ordered crispy beef and curry pork and then Yanni got a smoothie pineapple yes, smoothie yes pineapple smoothie that was very good as well yeah. so yeah definitely check out the place if you want to help the community apparently this type of um, company they go around they're everywhere in Southeast Asia there's one yeah. in Cambodia there's one in I think in Thailand Thailand yes oh in so, Vietnam in Vietnam as Vietnam. well oh Hanoi yeah we're going there so yeah check it out the next one is called Coffee Circles this is in a very good area of the city. It's a fancier part of the city yeah. and it's close to the most popular pagoda here in uh, Yangon. And you can definitely notice the switch of the atmosphere because you see more fancy housing and the people that only, only go there are the people that can only afford to go there because it's pretty pricey. Um, but they have good coffee and they have good food and great ambience. Yeah, definitely the, the interior design is stunning. It's nice. It's very westernized, I say, I must say. Mm -hmm. And uh, people that you see coming in to the door are, are tourists. mostly tourists or 
very rich, people. rich yeah. Yangon locals. The next restaurant is the signature restaurant. This is by a park. We forgot the name of the park, but it's, it's a beautiful... It's the Royal Park. Oh, the Royal Park. Is it the Royal Park? Yeah. The Royal Park. It's a very big park, man-made park with huge lake as well. And we went there after a long walk in the park. It's so nice because you get a view of the park and you sit down and you have a nice patio. It's very airy. It's all outdoors. And very, again, very nice. Again, it's pretty pricey. Um, people that only go there are tourists, literally. That's all we saw tourists food is very westernized um, you don't find yes. a lot of local yes, the, traditional foods here you're right the food menu is mostly like club sandwich burger fries steak um, salmon fillet but we opted out for the sort of like Asian cuisine so I got like an Asian stir fry Fabio got, got the club sandwich with fries it was a good though <laughs> I it was, was screaming it I'm sorry and yes. I got I got pineapple smoothie and that was very good as well very so, nice yeah, definitely check true. it out and I would recommend going there during sunset because you get a yes. beautiful view of the city and the pagoda as well. Yeah, so if you're tired of all the Asian food, if you're backpackers like us, we've been in Thailand, we've been like everywhere in Hong Kong. So if you want to break from the Asian food, they have nice variety from pizza, burgers, club sandwich and all the other Western food. The next place we went to and it's one of our favorite, it's called Shui Kan Kao. It's our favorite because it's close to our place and we went twice. <laughs> we went twice already. Yeah. Portions are very big and it's a very local place. It's very close to Chinatown. It's in um, quite inside Chinatown actually. Yeah. Stuff is very friendly. The food is great, very flavorful. And we got a big, big grilled fish with amazing sauce cooked inside a tin foil. And when you open it, all the aroma of the sauce is just like envelops your senses. It's, it's so spicy. good. It's garlicky. It's, sweet. it's garlic. Yeah. It's, it's gingery. Perfectly all the cooked. flavors. If you're curious how much you should tip if you come here, I feel like people in the restaurants don't really expect you to tip because we keep on tipping. And the waiters, the kid was so cute. The waiter was like returning the tip like oh you overpaid like no that's for the tip we didn't overpay we gave you that on a purpose and then she was like oh okay thank you yeah and they were did, so shocked they did it twice they, they did it we twice. went twice yeah. and the second time as well it's like oh here's you paid excessively yeah. but yeah definitely check out this place it's definitely catered to like chinese more like chinese cuisine but it's very good it's delicious. Yeah, the flavors are very very nice. Last but not the least, definitely not the least, is the Bod Hinava Cafe. They definitely need deserve a shout out because we've been to this place 10 times. <laughs> <laughs> Many times during our stay here in Yangon. It's our favorite cafe to work at, to work in. It's our favorite cafe to just chill. Um, just a fun fact, this cafe is also actually a hostel, so if you And come a very here, nice one. Yeah, a very nice hostel. Yeah. So if you come here and you want to stay in a nice hostel, very, um, what do you call it? Like very Queen West. Um, very... It's very hipster. It's hipster, rustic type rustic, vibe. Rustic, woods. A lot of woods, a lot of um, raw surface. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. it's very, very nicely yeah. designed. Coffee is delicious as well. And the food, we ordered one thing only, which is the vet, uh, vermicelli Vietnamese rice noodles, fried noodle, I guess. It was delicious. It was very good. Very flavorful. And I'm so shocked how good the coffee it is here. Yeah, better than Canada. Like, I'm Italian and I, I'm i very picky when it comes to coffee. And here, I've been so happy with it. Yeah, but yeah, so definitely check out this place if, you are, if you're backpackers and if you are digital nomads or if you are like working abroad, if you are working for yourself. The, we saw a lot of people come here to work. Yeah, and, Wi-Fi know, is very fast. Wi-Fi is fast. I feel it's, like everywhere in Asia so far, Wi-Fi is fast. And it's in a perfect location because it's right in between the pagoda, the very famous pagoda and the royal park. Yes, so it's very good walking distance of pagoda. So we went here as, actually as well after the after the park walk day one and it's beautiful and after that we kept on coming back to work we brought all our laptops and everything yeah and just a fun fact as well to get around the city it's very safe it's very easy if you do the grab thing if you grab it's like an uber version of southeast asia exactly it's cheap you just pay cash you know in advance how much you're supposed to pay so you don't have to worry about bargain because here when you catch a taxi you can have to bargain and they're gonna, they're gonna overpri 
they're going to overcharge you, especially if you're a tourist. So if so you have a grab, that's the most easiest. Download it and use it because it's so easy. Yeah. So those are pretty much the restaurants we checked out here in Yangon. I'm sure there's a lot more restaurants, yeah. but the ones that we saw were all five stars and like three dollar signs in there. And they're all, some of the restaurants actually are only catered to US or tourists because the pricing in the menu are in USD. It's not even in CAT. So definitely check it out. If you want local, I highly, the most, my favorite restaurant of all the things, restaurants we mentioned, is definitely the Linkage Art Restaurant because you're Absolutely. eating good food, you're also helping the locals, the community, and you're helping the children. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> A common thing about all the places we've been to is how friendly the staff is. Yes. So we wanna, be, we wanna give a big shout out to all of you guys here in Yangon. And fun fact, we didn't get a single diarrhea in Myanmar. <laughs> Luckily. <laughs> oh my gosh, in Thailand, we're used to it. It's like every day. It's just like, oh, another diarrhea. Oh, it's part of life. But like here, we actually didn't. Just an inside joke for us. Like yeah. we've been getting a lot. Every time we, we're saying, oh, we'll come back here tomorrow if, if we don't we get, get sick. diarrhea. <laughs> but not once, we didn't actually. And yeah, the food is delicious. We've been very lucky. Yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's very informative for you. If you're traveling to Yangon, this I hope this videos will, will be helpful. Thank you for watching. See you next time. <laughs>